Welcome back to the channel. Today I did walking distance deliveries. It's a six minute walk to the first customer. But is that enough to hit $700 in two days with Instacart? Another one. All I know is that these Halloween orders were scary good and we did have an amazing start of the week. So stay until the end. Good morning everyone, what's going on? I'm on my way to Food Lion. I grabbed a $38 order for two customers going two miles or something. And I know for a fact, one of the customers will increase the tip. I have done their shopping multiple times and she always doubles the tip. I'm pretty sure this order is gonna be about $60 in the end. So we'll see, but at $38, it's still good, especially because it's going only two miles. So let's go ahead and do it. And I'm gonna talk about yesterday, because yesterday was absolutely insane, guys. I wish I was recording yesterday, because man, what a day. I started my day off with a $28 order from Publix, going about two miles easy then I went over to Costco and I got a $40 order a little bit after the drop because they didn't show me anything at the actual drop time but I got a 40 for two customers going seven miles it had nine items only but four cases of water so anyways I did it and the customer with the waters increased my tip from 20 to 40 dollars and the order came out to 60 dollars so that was amazing then i went back to costco and i got a 47 dollar order costco with target two stores it wasn't that good really it was like 20 miles but i took it because i didn't want to sit and it wasn't that many items. It was like 10 items at Costco and 15 at Target. I found everything. So then after that, I waited a while and I got a $27 order from PetSmart. Only one item, a huge duck crate. That was a pretty easy order, only one item and it was going two miles only. So the day was actually looking pretty good right after I delivered that one. A $41 order came in, two stores also, Walgreens with Dick's Sporting Goods. And it was only three items, one at Walgreens and two at Dick's, two very expensive items, a $120 jacket and a $90 jacket from the North Face. Imagine guys. So I was pretty scared I wouldn't find those two items because obviously the Walgreens order was one item, one bottle of Pepto. So I knew like that order had very little tip, if not, no tip at all, you know? So anyways, I did my Walgreens order. I headed over to Dick's and I found all two jackets requested. That order took me only 46 minutes to complete which was amazing. So that order left me about a couple of miles away from a Publix. So I decided to stop by and wait there. So I got there and I didn't wait that much, maybe like five or 10 minutes. And I grabbed a $21 order going a mile only like 17 items or so. So that order took me 20 minutes and I went right back to Publix because I ended up like four minutes away anyways. So I headed right back. Guys, I literally did not wait a single minute. A $69 order popped up for only one mile. It was two customers, but they were practically neighbors. So man, that order was crazy. It was like 40, 48 items or something and 
the good customer of the order, the one that had the most items, she added a couple more items to the order and guys, that order came out to $74 and it took me 52 minutes. That was an unbelievable order. So then after that, I headed right back to the same Publix again because I was like three minutes away and I waited there for like a whole hour and there was nothing really. So I started moving. I moved to another Publix and on my way to that other store, I grabbed a $13 Food Lion order that was kinda easy, you know? It was just a few items for a mile. So I was like, why not? Let's do it. And then after that, it was already late, but I was at $315 for the day already. So I was like, man, should I go home or what? Because it was still kind of early for orders, but it was dark already. So I was like, man, maybe I can just go home, you know? I decided to just stop by another Publix just because I needed to use the restroom and I was seeing orders from there, I'm not gonna lie, but very small orders. I had seen a $9 order for four items going like half a mile, and I was this close from taking it because it was only four items. But one of the items was a box of chicken, fried chicken from the Publix Daily, and I was like, ah, man, what if they don't have that right now, you know? I actually went inside of the store to see if they had the item and maybe wait until they bumped the order to $10 and take it. I saw they did have the item and somebody took the order even before they bumped it to $10. Anyway, guys, let me just get started with this order and keep on going with the story because it is very, very interesting. You're not gonna believe what happened next. I'm done. It took me 25 minutes. They didn't have a lot of the items, so I had to do a few replacements, but we got it. Okay, I just dropped off the first order, five minutes away from the other one. So, to continue with the story, I had been considering taking that $9 order. I was like, nah, I'm not taking it unless they bump it up to $10. So whatever, they took the order and I went to my car. Guys, I literally started my car to head home because it was about 7.55 in the evening and an $83 order popped up, man. I wasn't expecting to see that amount on my screen, especially at that time of the day. Honestly, like I kind of never go to that Publix. That's one of my least preferred Publix locations just because it's always kind of dead there, you know? It was absolutely ridiculous, guys. It was going 4.8 miles, single customer, and it had a $75 flat tip. It was an absolutely amazing order. It put me at $399, almost $400, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. I dropped off the second order. I drove up to this Publix and I just got a $40 order going half a mile. It is two customers. It's crazy as a Dovo going half a mile. And just as I anticipated, guys, the first customer of the Food Lion batch I just did doubled the tip. The order came out to $61. There's nothing else I'm gonna say. Let's keep going, guys. But we got the order A and B. 18 minutes, let's go check out. And it's a six minute walk to the first customer. I'm just kidding, we'll drive. It's a two minute drive. Just dropped off the first one and it's another six minute walk or two minute drive to the second customer. Let's do it. dollars in 37 minutes <laughs> wow 
Wow. All right, all right. I had done a $26 Publix order for a couple of miles off camera. Right now I'm taking this one. It's one item from Staples, $16 for one mile. I'm about to get there, very easy order. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, that order took me 11 minutes. That's so good. I was practically at the store because Staples is right beside of the Publix I was waiting at. It's just a roadkill order. So anyways, I'm at 152 for the day and it's 1240 right now. We're looking awesome heading back towards Publix. Today's Halloween, so I got a feeling it's gonna be pretty slow after two or 3 p.m. So I'm just trying to make as much money as I can. I wanna try to hit $200 and then we'll see what happens after that, but I'm not expecting for the day to be outrageously good after two or 3 p.m. Okay guys, another one, $35 for one mile. 14 items Publix man what a beautiful order let's get it out of the way and it's a three minute drive I wish I got these orders all the time cuz Wow so easy quick one mile drive two mile drive you basically drop them off and you're again in the area like you're you're still in the area it doesn't get you out of the zone you can still get another one right away back to back that's what I love about these short distance orders. Let's keep going. <laughs> Came out to $39 in 26 minutes. I love these orders, man. <laughs> and I'm like a couple minutes away from Publix. So I'm gonna head back. Let's go. Guys, I've been literally trying to edit a video and I just can't, man. I'm there with my laptop, you know, editing here and there boom boom and then orders come through that's why it takes me so long to post videos sometimes i have very little time to edit them and they take a long time so i just try to do my best guys anyways i just grabbed a 27 dollar order publix going five miles it's about 30 items it's not awesome but it keeps me going so let's do it guys let's go 11 minutes let's pay I probably could have waited for something juicier, but since you never know with this thing, I just went ahead and took this one. It's gonna be pretty profitable anyways. I'm only 12 minutes away, let's get it. Okay guys, done. That order took me 33 minutes. And the previous order, like I said before, it took me only 26 minutes, which means in one hour, I made about $67 which is insane, guys. Anyways, right now, I'm gonna go home, have lunch. I'll honestly wait from home and see if I can get something. So I'll let you guys know. I'm at $219 for the day, and it's only $216. We're killing it. Okay, okay. Guys, I had done a $41 Harris Teeter order, three customers, and I didn't record it. It was a lot of items and it wasn't an easy order. But anyways, I completed it and right now I'm on my way to deliver a $14 order from Food Lion, only going a mile and a half or something. It's gonna put me at around $275 for the day, which is cool. It is currently 5.49 p.m. We'll most likely hit $300 for the day, which is pretty awesome. And we'll be at $700 for the week in two days. So that's a great start of the week. Let's keep going. If you're liking the content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell or comment down below. I really appreciate your support to the channel. Another one, $33 for two miles, Publix, 18 items. Let's get it. I'm 
another one. $25 for two items. Fresh market going 3.7 miles.